The next step in our process of setting up PHP Storm is to go in and set up PHP and also to set up the default standards for your projects. Let's go ahead and do that now. Let's open up PHP Storm. And we're going to click on Configure and we're going to go into Preferences. We're going to look for PHP. If you look down here under Languages and Frameworks, you'll see PHP. Now right here, we need to set this up. This will be for default projects. So what we need to do is we know that this is PHP 5.5. Now how do I know that? Well, let me show you. If you navigate into Desktop Servers file, which on the Mac would be under Applications, XAMPP, and then we want to go into the bin. And then on Windows, you want to go to your C drive and look for XAMPP, Light, go into that folder, and go into the PHP folder. And then you're going to scroll down until you see the version of PHP that's installed. And here we can see that we are running version 5.5. So we can go ahead and close this out. So next, what we need to do is select the interpreter. Now, the interpreter here is going to be PHP. We need the executable file for PHP. We know that that's located in the XAMPP folder. We just took a look at it. So now we need to navigate to that and wire it up here to PHP Storm. So let's go ahead and click here. Click on the plus. Here we're going to select Other Local. Next, we need to find it. So on the Mac, it's under Applications. On Windows, remember, it's going to be at your C drive. And then go down into X Amp Lite and down to PHP. Here on Mac, it's Applications, X Amp, Bin. And then I'll scroll down. Please watch your eyes here. And I select the version of PHP and I can say OK. Now I have that stored and you can see it's loaded up the version. It has the debugger already set up. It does have an INI file and up here I can give it a name. So I'm going to call this desktop server PHP 5.5 and I can say OK. And notice that it's now populated here for me. And I can go ahead and click Apply. Next, what I need to do is we want to be able to set up for the default projects to identify that this is a WordPress coding standard. So back up here, I want to go to Code Style. And here you see it starts to pop up. So under PHP, we'll click on this. And you see that if you navigate through these tabs, you can see that there are different settings all the way through. Now what we want to do is pick the one that's from a predefined style. So you see I clicked on Set From, Predefined Style, and come down here and select WordPress. If you're working on a Symfony or a Zen, or some other framework, you can select that. Let's go ahead and select WordPress. And now I'm set up to the WordPress coding standard. And you can see that because we have generous spacing. Our brackets start on the same line. Our else is wrapped in brackets all on the same line. Everything is all lined up. This is following the WordPress coding standards. So we can go ahead and click Apply. If there's something unique that you'd like to set in here, you can also go through and click on it. 
Notice that there are coding styles set up for CSS, SAS, JavaScript, and so on. So you can go in and adjust these if need be. But for now, let's go ahead and just accept these the settings. And we're going to go ahead and click Apply. And now you have your default project set up for both the WordPress coding standard as well as having the interpreter wired up to the desktop server PHP.